Alright. Last stretch. Go back in there and grab a ration, equip the ration. There's another ration here. Because we ain't out of the woods. We're not out of the woods yet. I'll drive. Okay. Damn, a surveillance camera. Okay. Where the hell did he come from? Damn, no keys. Like that entire passage was collapsed. We came from there. Keys. Where did this guy come from? Where did all of them come from? Come on, Meryl. Punch it. So yeah, you want to go into first person, it'll give you a better idea of where you're shooting. And it's like one of the only times you can actually aim in first person. So this is it, the final escape. But yeah, it's not Easy. difficult. Let's go. Uh, there is a tablet in the upper right. Uh, the tablet is incredibly generous. Like, if you take it longer than like, I'd say four minutes to get out of this, uh, then you're doing something really wrong. We'll never make it. Snake, clear a path. <laughs> oh, hey, that glass shot. That's actually a really neat uh, effect. Come on. Alright, he's down. Is there another one? Oh, there is. Well, just drive through them. You did it, Snake! Okay, so you're gonna drive through the barrier anyway. So why didn't you just drive through the barrier? Also, uh, fun fact. Not yet, Snake! Liquid isn't dead yet. It's not over yet! How much punishment can this guy take? Liquid! So the trick here is really just to uh, make sure he doesn't actually have a chance to shoot you. I don't think you actually have to hit And at this point it's just about lasting. If you hit him he'll fall back a bit. Um, but there is actually a limited stretch of road, it's not endless as far as I'm aware. So really just uh, keep shooting at him, make sure he can't take the shots at you, and that will basically be how you survive. Just outlast him. We've got three rations, we're not doing that much damage to us with it, so we'll definitely make this. You see how easy it is? Just Rambo. Just Rambo this thing. Oh. Should almost be there. Come on. There it is. Look, Snake, daylight. We're gonna crash. And that's Metal Gear Solid. Completed. Done and dusted. Are you okay? 
Yeah, just a little shook up. Meryl, can you move? Uh, uh, it's no good. I can't move. It's no good. What happened to Liquid? I can't shoot. I can't see him either. So somehow, uh, we dead. both crashed. Uh -oh. I mean, I suppose that's what happens when you Stay. drive that fast out of a tunnel. And Liquid's still alive. Hmm. If only I had a weapon. Snake. Oh, for the love of God, Liquid, just die. Alright, finally. Liquid's dead. If he's dead, that means... It means nothing because you don't, don't have identical DNA. Seriously. What happened to the air raid? No stealth bombers in sight. Yes, that's actually a thing. If you let the 10 minute timer run out, which you have to really try to do, Snake, nothing happens. You, hear me? you don't Colonel, suddenly get a game over or anything, okay? nothing happens. Colonel, what happened? The Secretary of Defense has been arrested. Early retirement. Arrested? I was able to get into contact with the President. Metal Somehow. Gear, the training exercise, all of it. It was all the Secretary of Defense acting alone. Yeah, Mel, it's only two retcons that as what no, it was raid and the nuclear strike. The orders were rescinded. The F 117s and the B 2 spirits have returned to the base. Once again, I have complete authority Once over this operation. We've saved the world. Washington isn't stupid enough to use nukes to cover up a few secrets. I wonder about that. In any case, the danger's over. Thanks, Snake. Colonel. You can rest easy. Meryl's fine. Really? Thanks. Thank you, Snake. Snake, I'm sorry. I, I kept a lot of things from you. It's okay, Colonel. Snake, I'm not a Colonel. <laughs> oh, that's right. All right. I've got a present Roy. for you. There's a snowmobile close to you. Mei Ling saw it on the satellite photos. This time Mei Ling here, the saw are it. Calm. You should he be wasn't right left there for there. us, so who's this? Are we just stealing a snowmobile from somebody in the, in the, the middle of in the middle of an island alive. in Alaska? Me neither. I better not show if that's somebody right else's here. and we just steal no that, that means we've probably left somebody to die in this wasteland. After your jeep sank into the ocean. That's not too far from the truth. Also, there's a helicopter waiting for you on Fox Island. Dr. Hal Emmerich should be somewhere on the base. I want someone to bring him in. I understand. Leave it to me. Okay, Roy. Are you gonna be okay? Don't worry. So here's a here's I've a thing that was um, kind a of weird for a while. Of all data. As long as I've got that, uh, there was a question for a long time about which ending was Battery canon these in this game. Out soon. They won't be able to follow us. Because uh, Autocon be survives again. in both. Meryl only Don't survives in one. I'll but Meryl doesn't appear in Metal Gear Solid really? 2. I look forward to that. Roy. Autocon does, tell me and then Metal Gear Solid 3 was a prequel. What? So the question was like, die, which will be is fine. the canon ended? She wasn't does Meryl survive or not? Who knows? What about me? It killed Liquid. Naomi said that she wants to talk to you face to face about that. Face to face How over Kodak. Don't worry. Mei Ling is with her right now. I'm switching over to Naomi. Snake, it's me. Naomi. I heard about my brother. So yeah, we've kind of I'm sorry. exonerated Naomi because it turns you. out that he told the person she was sending to coded messages him. to was Grey Fox. To go on with your own life. Frankie said that? I, like, I guess the whole thing is, well, yeah. she wasn't sending to the terrorists. He also said so everything's okay, I guess. Huh? Naomi, your brother just saved you, me, and the whole world. He fought with every ounce of strength in his body. And his Maybe. laser gun. Maybe now he's finally. Shit, I wonder where he peace. got that. 
But in the remake, he, he when he appears, really he still anymore. has his sword as well. If and does use his sword against eyes, Rex. Been like a ghost. Along with his laser gun, but it's a never explained where he got that from. To die. <laughs> Naomi. Liquid died from Fox Die too. Okay, what so when me? am I gonna die? When am I gonna go? That's up to you. What do you mean? Everybody dies when their time is up. Yeah, so when's yeah, my time up? So when's mine up? It's up to you how you use the time left to you. That's not an answer Listen. to the question, Naomi. It's all I can say to you. Thanks. That was re really helpful. Inject me with this stupid retrovirus that's probably going to kill me at some point, and then not tell me when it's going to kill me. It's unchangeable, immutable. Yeah. But that's not all there is to life. I finally realized that. I told you before the reason that I was interested in genes and DNA, because I wanted to know who it's, I was. It's like I said. Where I it is a case from. of nature versus nurture. There is the case of where I you came from, my DNA, your nature, but there's also the my very important were. case of nurture, where you go that, from I where you came. Path I should take in life. But I was wrong. And to value nature way above nurture is ridiculous in that regard. I mean, it's a psychological concept. Which one affects make them into the, strongest soldiers. the outcome of a person is, that is, that it is important. Like, is it strengths. nature or nurture? Are people just encoded with specific uh, destinies in their DNA? Are they program? Are they encoded from the beginning? Programmed to be a specific way? Like, is somebody evil from birth, or is evil? Snake. Learned that kind of Whether thing. Whether or not you're in the Fox Die program isn't important. But the point the is, is that you choose life. Like, and then live. It doesn't matter. Is you what know what? Think, Snake? Mewtwo said it best. The I'm circumstances of one's birth are irrelevant. Today, it's what you do with the live. gift of life from here that on, truly matters. I'm going to just and Mewtwo said that, and it's entirely true. Genes exist to pass down our hopes and dreams for the future through our children. Yeah. I see now that the Living circumstances of one's birth are irrelevant. It is what you do with the gift of life that That's determines life who works. you are. Loving each other, teaching each other. That's how we can. That's the thing Liquid just didn't get. From the beginning, he was fixated on the circumstances of his birth, and that made him into who he was. Thank you, Snake. Or a snake never knew, and thus it was never bur it never burdened him. Look, I found this. Oh, thanks. It's a piece of cloth. Let's keep it as a reminder. Of what? A reminder of a successful So that's the infinite bandana. The uh, we save yeah. this game now and carry it over into a new game. It. And we will what? start with infinite with the infinite ammo bandana. Until today, I've lived only for myself. Survival has been the only thing I cared about in my life. That's not just you. That's how everyone is. I only felt truly alive when I was staring death in the face. I don't know. Maybe it's written into my genes. What about now? What do your genes say about your future now? So I really do believe that like, your genes determine a lot about someone you. Else? Uh, some yeah. your hair colour, your eye colour, um, someone like you. Your metabolism, they'll determine a lot about that's the real way to what you are. But they won't determine who you are as a person. That is down to you and your environment. So, where to, Snake? David, my name's And David. the important thing to remember okay. is that you so can to, change at any time. Hmm. You put the effort in, you can change who I you are as a person. For a new path in life. A new path? A new purpose. Will we find it? We'll find it. 
so I while your genes are important in where you start what are those and caribou. it's it's possible in, in the where you end the caribou is a symbol of life what happens and between then is up Where's to you two? yeah spring brings new life to everything it's a time for hope i've lived here a long time Alaska has never looked more beautiful. The sky, the sea, the caribou, and most of all, you. I think I'm gonna like this new life. Come on. So since Meryl still has bandages life. visible, I'm guessing that jacket she's wearing is sleeveless, in which case this is Alaska and that is cold. So, um, we don't get, if we don't get somewhere quick, uh, she's probably going to get frostbite. In the 1980s, there were more than 60,000 nuclear warheads in the world at all times. The total destructive power amounted to one million times that of the Hiroshima A-bomb. In January 1993, START 2 was signed and the United States and Russia agreed to reduce the number of deployed strategic nuclear warheads to... 3,000 to 350 so 3,500 by 2,000 however as of 98 there still exists 26,000 nuclear warheads in the world so it's not been a major success probably because like a lack of trust mostly so that was Metal Gear Solid uh, developed and published by Konami in 1998 a landmark title for the playstation um and there is there is a lot to like about this game i do a lot of complaining um although it's worth knowing i do a lot of complaining in general in general but this game was huge for a reason uh this changed a lot about gaming uh both in presentation uh this was like one of the early major mature stories in gaming um, that was truly popular and widespread and successful. I mean, you had stuff before this, like Blood Omen Legacy of Cain has a, a dark, gothic fantasy story uh, that's very mature. You had things like Final Fantasy VI with a very serious story. Um, and very, various other things, but Metal Gear Solid was like one of the first truly massively successful mature stories in video games and if something's majorly successful then that's going to be majorly influential in a lot of ways and it was and even today a lot of games can trace the influence of what influenced them um, back to Metal Gear Solid Enjoy this polar bear. So yeah, no, I, I do think Metal Gear Solid, despite the problems that rise, that arise in the later areas of the game, like the way the radar is regularly jammed, um, the ridiculous overplacement of gun cameras, the mines that you have no way of knowing about until you walk into them, the excessive backtracking. Uh, this game is still a fun game to play. The story is certainly engrossing in a lot of ways. It is uh, certainly one of the best in the series, even now, as far as the stories go. Uh, the gameplay does get better, which is always something you want with a sequel. Um, well, Metal Gear Solid is a landmark title for a reason. It was heavily successful for a reason. And that reason is it was a damn good game. And time hasn't really changed that. It is still a really good game. And going through it again was not really a chore for me. Doing some of the backtracking was irritating. Um... But the game as a whole, was it was fun to go through again, I enjoyed it. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching me go through, I hope you enjoyed some of the commentary. 
uh, or all of the commentary. Maybe, probably not. I have a tendency to ramble. There were whole bits of the story where I just wasn't paying attention to talk about random crap. So, uh, um, but no, Metal Gear Solid is really a strong title, and if you've never played it before, I recommend trying it. Uh, you can pick it up on PlayStation, uh, on the original PlayStation, PS1. Uh, physically, if you want to do that, you can get it on the PS3 as a PS1 classic. You can download it digitally that way. Or if you are really interested in the whole series, uh, you can pick up the Metal Gear Solid Legacy Collection on PS3. Which, if you get it new, I think it is, you get a download code for Metal Gear Solid 1 on PSN. So, um, like one, one of the biggest influences this game really had for a lot of future games was it really pushed the importance of voice acting in these stories. Because you had things prior to this, like Resident Evil is one of the best examples, and it's bad. Bad voice acting, it really is. And with this game, one of the most important things is, again, the success of this game. And combine that with a cast of actual actors playing the roles directed by an actual director. But even these days, a lot of the problem with uh, localizations of Japanese games can be that the English actors are directed by Japanese directors who do not understand English. So they just go off how each, how they think the tone sounds, which can be a problem. Um, but yeah, it's, it was very important as a whole thing, um, the success of the game, and certainly must have influenced um, voice acting to improve to to fate, in a lot of ways. Ruled by your genes. Humans can choose the type of life they want to live. The important thing is that you choose life, and then live. And, you know, it's, it's, it's good to see that voice acting did become something that was taken more seriously. I mean, you always point to stuff like the original Resident Evil as like, one of the big examples, but Capcom did more yes, than sir. that. The entire like, Mega Man X4's out. voice acting is just awful. Those two are still alive. There's Resident Evil Survivor. Yes, like, uh, Fox die should become activated soon. Right on schedule. Yes, sir. I recovered all of Rex's dummy warhead data. So Ocelot talked about what he no, actually sir. got away My with. My cover is intact. Nobody knows who I really am. Yes, the DARPA chief knew my identity, but he's been disposed of. Which is immediately yes. saying that his death was not an accident. Was after all. That's right. Until the very end, Liquid thought he was the inferior one. The revelation that yes, Liquid sir, actually had the dominant genes, you know, that crap. Such as yourself to rule the world. Which explains why he survived so much. No, sir. No one knows that you were the third one, Solidus. That is a tease for Metal Gear Solid 2. Yes, sir. I'll keep her under surveillance. Yes. Thank you. Goodbye. Mr. President. Which says that the President did know what was going on. But a lot of these are plot threads that will be picked up in the sequel. And let's look at our score. Uh, let's see, about six and a half hours, saved three times, we died three times. We got the alert eight times, which that's got to be counting. Um... That's got to be counting the uh, boss fights, maybe? Or the bits in the... The elevators and stuff like that. And the bit after the Darp Chief died. 33 enemies killed, never killed anybody, didn't have to. 
27 rations useless bunch there it's hyena we got we got the bandana uh, so that's good and so yes we will um that was metal gear solid uh for the playstation released in 98 um next time we play a metal gear solid game it will be metal gear solid 2 sons of liberty uh probably going to do the hd version of that uh, on the hd collection um but thank you for watching uh have a good night and take care.